in the district. Some D.C. public school teachers say they are afraid for their safety from both COVID and violence. It's why Anacostia High School teachers did not teach today and instead spent the day meeting with administrators about their concerns. News 4's Amy Cho has more on what sparked the conversation and what's next. Bullet holes in the front door of Anacostia High School. This is what remained after a shooting Wednesday night. Teachers at the school tell us being afraid for their safety is nothing new. As a staff, we came together today and said, well, that, that's enough. We've had enough. Brandy Bird and Chris Wiggum. They spent the school day not in the classroom, but instead talking about their concerns with administrators. They sent us these pictures of the meeting and say every unionized teacher was there. News 4 is blurring the pictures to protect their privacy. But I'm up at 3 30, 4 o'clock with anxiety, waking up four or five times a night because I can't sleep well. And then I'm up, come back to work, repeat, do it all over again. Among the teachers, other concerns, COVID safety, a lack of heat in the building, students yelling at teachers and getting into fights. Educators and other staff members have been injured um, or hit or they've been spit on or, you know, just things that aren't safe. Bird and Wiggum say an assistant superintendent listened to their concerns and promised to spend the weekend coming up with solutions. We know our kids deserve better. We know we deserve better. But knowing that we don't know what better really looks like right now is, I think, one of the biggest things weighing over all of us. Earlier today, D.C. Public Schools sent News 4 a statement saying the safety of our students and staff is our highest priority. We are in touch with our teachers regarding their concerns and working to resume the school day. We remain in constant communication with the Metropolitan Police Department regarding the safety of our school neighborhoods. Keeping safety top of mind as teachers demand answers and action. Amy Cho, News 4. The teachers say students were given the option to do a social emotional learning activity today and that they were supervised by non-union staff.